Welcome back. This is Dredius and another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. We're in week 15 now and we are going to be facing the Houston Texans who are 5 and 8 this season. We are similar, uh, one could say, because we have uh, a 5 and 7 and 1 record. Uh, could be better, of course, but... Uh, I think we are doing well. We did do great last season. We really had problems there. We finished with a one and uh, I think 17 record, one and 16 record, and that was terrible. Um, but uh, this season we're doing way better. And especially the way we are playing is what I'm liking. When you look at the results, there are hardly any really bad uh, results. There are no blowouts. We, we were in each game, we were in each game fighting back and doing our best. The only game that could be considered really a bit of a more painful loss was against the Jets actually, because that was a 10 point difference, uh, the Bills, but usually it's not that much in between. It's usually, uh, mostly it was a field goal. That was the, the big difference between a tie and, uh, and, and a win or a loss. So. With that taken into consideration, we're going to head into this week's game against the Houston Texans. We are not in the playoff picture, obviously. I think we're sliding down further at the moment, but that is not uh, my focus. I want to have a tied season or a positive season, meaning I would like to have the four uh, remaining games more or less added into the first column. I don't think we'll be able to pull that off, but we are going to do our darndest to pull it off. So let's take a look at the Texans roster. David Smills, 24 year old, 81 overall uh, QB. is gonna be the starter here for the Texans. He is the uh, starting QB also in the 2022 season. He's a solid quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo behind him, Bryce Perkins, formerly of uh, the LA Rams. He's also there, 26 years old, 58 overall. I think, I don't know, but I feel like they're doing him an, a, a little bit of an injustice here. I mean, they dragged down the awareness so much, but he wasn't bad in preseason uh, by any means. So yeah, I'm not sure about this one, but Davis Mills does have a high accuracy and good throw power. Uh, and at 24 years old, he still can develop quite a bit. Halfback is Tony Pollard. Just gonna go through the team quickly. Uh, he was with the Dallas Cowboys before, uh, before joining the Houston Texans. Chase Edmonds is there. We know him, of course, and Damian Pierce as well. Chase Edmonds is a player that we let go. Uh, Nick Ralston is the fullback, wide receiver, Brandon Cooks, and John Mechie the third, who is injured. Okay, that is interesting. Brandon Cooks was with the Texans before, I think. I'm just gonna do a quick checks here to see if there's uh, any crucial changes in comparison to the last time we played them. Uh, he was with Indianapolis, so they did bring in quite a few new players. Nico Collins and Michael Bandy. Tight end is Jaheim Bell, a rookie with a normal death trick, but 78 overall, he's not looking bad. Um, good player to develop. Brett and Jordan behind him and Tegan Quitoriano, a very young tight end room and actually very well balanced. So really liking this one here. Laramie Tunsil, left tackle, uh, stalwart at that position. I think he has a start of rating, yes. Uh, 90 overall, fifth ranked left tackle. So that position is set very, very solidly here. Anton Harrison behind him, Charlie Heck as well. Left guard is Kenyon Green, a 2022 draft pick. Uh, Max Carr also uh, behind him. Kenyon Green, I think he has a start of trade, yes. He's a very solid left guard to have. I used him in quite a few rebuilds um, we, uh, in the Madden 22. He was super solid pick every time. Eric McCoy, the starting center. I'm gonna take a look here, start of trade as well. So that's actually not an, not an uninteresting team, the Texans, quite a lot of development there. Uh, he joined from the New Orleans Saints, so he's a new center to have right there. Devontae Curtis, another rookie. So they have really done well in the draft, um, strengthening key positions, and they I think they needed that. They really need that. Titus Howard, right tackle, 75 overall. Uh, at age 27, 
he was with the Texans before. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's take a look at defense. The one smooth is the starting left edge. Derek Hall, a rookie, is uh, the backup here. The one smooth he joined from the Jacksonville Jaguars. So that is a strengthening of that position. Marcus Davenport started Jonathan Greenard behind him. They actually very solid setting here at the right edge position. Marcus Davenport joining from the New Orleans Saints as well. D tackles Jalen Carter, a superstar rookie D tackler. Wow. I was looking at him, but he was off the board when I was about to pick, so I couldn't take him. I wanted to take him, and now I know why. I would have really liked to bring him in as a, as that future player at that position. Ross Blacklock also at the tackle and Thomas Booker the fourth. Left outside linebacker Brenton uh, CXX Jr. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Cooks? I don't know. Uh, rookie out of Florida, 74 overall normal dev trade. High speed acceleration, so that linebacker definitely dangerous. Garrett Wallow, Kyler Fackrell. TJ Edwards at midline back in position. Start of trade 82 overall, 27 year old high tackle rating 97. Pursuit is high as well, so he will be unrelenting. He joined from the Philadelphia Eagles, Christian Harris and Terrace Hall. And Christian Harris, I think he is from the 2022 draft. Just look at that speed, tackle, acceleration. It's going to be so quick, zipping across the pitch. Terry Lewis. And right outside linebacker, Clellan Farrell and Daryl Gilchrist. Clellan Farrell, uh, Terrell Lewis, let's take a look here. He was with the Rams, yeah, that's where I know the name from. Um, I think I cut him pretty quickly because he was quite bad in uh, Madden 22, but that doesn't matter too much. At corner, we've got Sean Murphy Bunting, and I'm quite certain that he joined from somewhere else. Yes, he joined from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, behind him, Derek Stingley Jr. He's a dangerous corner. He was a 2022 draft pick with a newly revealed face scan, as you can see here. Even the hair are done. Uh, and he's just so, I mean, just look at those stats. Speed, acceleration, jumping, man coverage, agility, press. Jesus Christ. And that at age 22. Rashad Fenton, Marco Wilson, Devin Witherspoon behind him. Free safety, Jalen Petrus injured, but behind him it's Lamarcus Joyner who is not a bad pick at any rate. And strong safety, Amani Hooker and Gino Stone. Let me just take a look. Was Amani Hooker with the Texans before? No, he was with the Tennessee Titans. So a lot of changes for the Texans, actually. Jason Myers and Cameron Johnston. It's hard to find real weak points with them. They are a very, very balanced team. And uh, we are going to convert that into a workable weekly strategy now let's take a look here the defensive game plan we're going to defend the short pass that is mostly the best bet to go for uh we will go with full pads this time i see no major problems at the moment here so i will be going for splits for everybody the offensive game plan we're gonna go with the inside run here um because that all right, I already chose that. I thought I didn't uh, lock that in. All right, everybody here seems to be pretty fit. So we're going to go with the full pads, but we're going to be splitting. I see no problems. Jamar Chase is looking a little bit tired, to be honest. So I might be switching him back uh, to, to a uh, bit pushed back uh, receiver position. We're going to put a little bit of a rotation in there. Uh, one interception, that works for me. We're going to go with 20 points or less. 250 offensive yards works for me. 400 offensive yards might be tricky. We are going to go with a turnover battle. Just think this is one of the safer bets to go for. All right, defensive training uh, is shown first. Let's see. No injuries. That is positive. Fatigue did go up a little bit, but that is to be expected with the full pass training. Next up, we've got offense, same thing. I don't see any injuries. That is positive. That is very, very good. All right, we can continue. That was good. Good training, guys. Uh, we do have a few points to spend on staff. We can upgrade one, uh, one of those tiles on the offensive coordinator side. 
Uh, I'm gonna go for boost carrying for halfbacks, fullbacks by one. That'll help the run game a little bit more. Hopefully we will uh, reduce those fumbles because we did have quite a few for Bijan Robinson, which was a bit weird. But uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, looking forward to reducing those. We have quite a few upgrades, and that is absolutely awesome. We will be upgrading Brandon Jones. Uh, he is a strong safety. He's our back about that position. He's now a 76. Let's take a look at 25 years old. That is good. A lot of time to progress. Channing Tindall, our backup at mid linebacker. Um, he was picked in the 2022 draft. Let's take a look. 23 years old out of Georgia. That works as well. DJ Johnson, the tight end. Let's see how far we have to go to reveal his death trait. I'm interested in that one. 231 we have. So we need ooh, 270. Let's see if we can get that done before the end of the season. Alex Acosta, back of that left tackle. A rookie. We're slowly but surely just uh, improving him. He has time to develop behind Austin Jackson. Uh, Jevon Holland, hybrid player. Now at an 89, he's my starting free safety, of course. And he's fantastic. I really, I really want to have him with us long term. Let's see. But uh, we will have to negotiate next season. So that might be difficult. I think getting into the playoffs will be crucial to tie some of those players to the team. Um, as for now, let's see. We're going to manage the roster a little bit because I think I think we might, we should try and rest uh, Jamar Chase a little bit. So we're going to put Jalen Waddle at the wide receiver one position. We're going to put uh, Cedric Wilson at the wide receiver two. We're going to put Tershawn Porter here. We're going to put Cam Steele. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Right. So number one, Waddle. Number two, Steele. Then it's Wilson. Then it's Porter. Izukama is still sort of my backup. He is progressing very slowly. I wish he would be growing a little bit quicker uh, in his overalls. And uh, on defense, still no reveal for Noah Sewell. But at his progression rate, I think that he is going to be... A, uh, a start of trade. Just hope that he doesn't drop down to a normal one, but... Hard Rock Stadium. Once more, the venue for a game here. The Miami Dolphins against the Houston Texans. And this will be a game where I really hope to turn things around again. The QB Davis Mills, 3,500 yards on the season. Talia, I'd really like to see his stats. Gonna take a look at them afterwards. Bijan Robinson has had a great season. He's the rushing leader. Our defense also doing well. Struggled a little bit against uh, the Bills last week. But uh, this week, I really hope that since we're the home team, we should, we should be able to pull something off here, especially since the Texans aren't that far away. But uh, Talia has something to prove this week. So let's get going. Huddling up here, we're going to go with our first play of the day. It's going to be a run, of course, left-hand side run. Uh, Laramil Tunsil is on the left-hand side there. So let's see. Yeah, and that was a beautiful opening right there. Closed down by the safeties, of course, but uh, getting quite a good run here to start off our first drive of the day. So there we go. That was good. We're going to go with an inside zone week here. Uh, the question is when they will pick up on our run play, sort of tackle, tackle us quicker. I was, ho oh my Jesus Lord. Thank you, Austin Jackson. And you see another one there. Holding, Holding on. Oh, come on. That was a fumble in there. Can't you just let us be? Still first down. All right, that's first and 20 at least. It's still first down. That's not too bad. Um, they will be rushing us now, I fear. So let's see. Can we get a bench switch? Do I dare go for this one? Drill 52. There we go. All right. Oh, Jalen. Thought we had a good play going there. 
but obviously not. Let's see, Michael Mayer. Do I get him free? And how far can he go? Not that far. Ten yards, well, ten yards isn't bad. But is it what I wanted to achieve with this play? Nope. Jalen Waddle's route is closed down over there. Michael Mayer. I think I'm going to be going with him once more. Oh, and that was... That was not nice. And one could argue that it was a little bit of a pass interference even there. Slightly inaccurate, but we might... Ah, I wanted to get it out of bounds there. Oh, man. Javelin Goudry. Got the tackle on number 20. That's Pollard. And now Davis Mills. First time on the field. Let's see. Nope, we cannot hold them. Oh, we seem to be chasing the games again a little bit more. This is not something that I like to see. And here we go. Bijan Robinson, eight yards on that pickup. Let's go with a halfback dive. Left-hand side here. Should get that first down. Yes, there we are. A little shot at the end of number 26. But a good run. Not, not getting around this vastly, vastly improved Texans team. I do remember that it was quite a tough fight last time around. But... There we go. We're underway. Nope. What was the flag? Not a penalty again. Guys, what is with the with these offensive fouls? Still first down. Oh come on! Those are really making life difficult for us because we we can't keep uh, this work sometimes. Yeah, no, this is not working. This is not working. Second and 17. Jesus. It's first quarter, man. I need some blocking. Can someone please block? No chance. Third and 14. Let's go with play action crossers here. Jalen Waddle. Can he get into space back there? I think it's Derek Stingley. Jalen Carter. I'm not too crazy about this formation here. Yeah, smacked away with ease. Really with ease. We're not dangerous at the moment. We're not dangerous as much as I'd like us to be. We are not. And I can't seem to be doing these kicks precisely. Oh, I'm actually lucky that I missed him. Okay, so our defense does step up now. Focusing on the task at hand. I'm really getting going. All right. There we go. Let's go for this. Mm. The route wasn't opening. I'm going to try another one of these. Left-hand side run now. I need the center to be stronger, but not hold the offensive players, uh, the defensive players. Ah, we're not getting anywhere. We're not getting anywhere like this. Mayor Waddle. I think Mayor is my best bet here. Fourth and inches. I mean, that was super close. But it could have gone worse. It could have gone worse. We're going to go with a halfback dive now. Left hand side run, but momentum is against us. What does that mean? The away team has improved catching, defense can see home team's intended pass target. That sucks. That really sucks. First and ten. All right, so we got that done. We got that done. Halfback quick base, left hand side. I mean, I would like to try something else here, but I'm just not sure if this is the best way to proceed here. Because uh, Bijan Robinson is doing well, and we have set up our game plan for the run plays. 
I'm not trusting the audibles at the moment as much because those center, uh, those corners back there, they are really nasty. All right, there we go. Getting the first down here. But the, the, the cornerbacks and the safeties for the uh, Texans are really very dangerous. They're quick, they're good. That's really a lot of improvement there for, for this team. That was previously not as great. Let's go the inside zone here. The clock was stopped because we now have an injury. Um, the question is, will he return? Will he return on time? I don't think so. And who do we have behind him? Alex Acosta, who's playing right now. I'm not quite sure if he will be able to hold the pressure here. But all right, this looks like a good run here for Bijan Robinson. Thank you very much. Well done. Good run. Two minute warning is in. I'm gonna try slip screen. I'm gonna try this now. Usually these slip screens tend to work quite nice. Could go with this one or a vertical, but I'm just not really. Wait, did I just switch? Didn't mean to do that. Let's try a branch return. Oh man, number 23 just easily slapping that away. That was annoying. Let's try another one. Let's try it this time around. Can we get Bishan Robinson free? And the question is, how free? Well, not that. Five yards, but better than nothing. I think a mesh switch could be a viable option. The only question is, Here we go. Here we go. do I want to go with Cam Steel or with uh, Waddle? And I think Waddle is the better choice here. I do have Mayer on that outside route. Thank you, Michael. Mayer, we get the first down. 1 minute 18 to be played. And that actually was a good one. That was a good one. Um, since we have the primary receiver revealed, I think we're going to go with Mayor on this one as well. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Ooh, Jesus Christ. I thought that was going to be a, a pick. Ooh. Luckily, it wasn't. Luckily, it wasn't. All right, let's go with this one here. Again, I'm looking for Steely. Would be a good uh, receiver there, but uh, oh my god. Got the ball away on time. And I know we're not we're not playing to what we decided upon. Since uh, we're not going for run plays at the moment. But I just I see hardly any gaps on this on this defense here. I mean I could try the bench. Oh, can we get Wilson back there? Yes, we can. Wow. Well, that was fantastic. That was a great run by Cedric Wilson. And we've got Elvis playing again. I like that. Well, that was great. With that roll off there. That was good. Right, let's continue to the next moment and we hold them. So we're in the second quarter. We're now at uh, 27 seconds. We managed to hold them. Uh, long routes here, but I think yeah, I've got to go with Wilson. Because he is the intended receiver. Oh, crud. I tried to move back. Try to move back to get as much time, but he was just running at me straight ahead. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything, and then it's a safety. I hate safeties, man. That is annoying. 
Let's go to the tight end corner. I want to get Cedric Wilson over there. Oh, once more. Do we have a good one here? Let's try this one. Chill and waddle. I mean, ooh, there's an opening here. There is an opening here. And smacked away. Jesus Christ, number 23. I'm not getting through here. Yeah, these were all useless. Why is he suggesting plays like this for me when I am this far back? I want to have... I want to have something like this going on here. Wilson Waddle. Wilson would be great. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the first half. And they are ahead because of that stupid safety. Jesus. That was annoying. <laughs> that was really annoying. We're going to be kicking them, uh, kicking off now. Let's see. More or less precise. Ball is underway. I'm going to do a touchback. There we go. All right, so we managed to hold them. And the question is, can we get something going here? Because it is... It is a tough game. All right. Luckily, whoever that rusher was just went straight past me. Bijan Robinson does get does get his chance here. Let's go with a little bit more outside oriented. But the question is, oh, I went inside of Robert Hunt. Didn't want to do that. Let's go with the seam divide. I'm rather looking for Wilson here. I just hope he gets across. Yeah, he does. And we're stopped at the midpoint here. Good throw by Tua. Uh, by Talia. Still unsure. What what do you think I should do about Tua? Big question. Please drop that in the comments below. I am unsure of what I want to do. Four yards for Bijan here. 91 yards on the day. It's not bad. It's not bad. But then again... All right. Off we go. Let's go for a block, guys. Yes. Well done. First down, 37 yard line. What about this one here? I think I'm gonna go with a halfback wham. It all comes down to the to the blocking of the offensive line here basically. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just came steaming over here. And there was hardly any any blockage to be gotten there. Do I have it better? I could go with Michael Mayer here. Just try to pick up five yards. Let's try this one. Love to shed that first tackle there. Six yards and Talia gets mauled. There we go. Shift out of bounds. Question is, do I go? I think I'm going to go with a slot cross here. We won't get anybody really in the backfield. But if I can get Mayer, 
And that was a good catch. Turning towards the ball, really grabbing the ball and pulling it in for uh, for that first down. I mean, Cedric Wilson. Let's try this one here. Mm. Was that a pass interference? One could argue, right? Let's go with the mesh switch here. Cam Steele. Gonna be going towards the right here. Waddle towards the ah, other way around. Jesus Christ. I hate that. I hate it when they just slap it away. Like a fly. That's bothering them. That's 4th and 10. And we did not get that. So we're going to go for a field goal. And that is not what I wanted to have. Why is the wind so strong in here, guys? Uh, oof, there we go. Right, so we take the lead. But I fear it's going to be a very, very short-lived one. Unless our defense absolutely steps up here. Come on. Oh, and they're on the board. At least it's only a field goal. So if we get into field goal range, okay. we should be able to drag something back. But they are lining up again. Hmm. Let's see. Can we get an audible? Yeah, but which one? I'm going to go with this. Yeah, we're actually getting shoved back. It's Davenport coming around. From the back. That is a tough, tough team. But we're going to go with this one here. Trail Shake. I think Cedric Wilson, not now. But Mayer should be a viable option. Does get the ball, but then he's just wrapped up here. Five yards only on that game. Drag verticals. We're going to go with a wide drag. Again. Again. Let's go. Let's go, guys. All right. Well done. This is really, uh, really an important, an important move here. Just keeping the flow, keeping, keeping uh, those yards coming. I really don't want to rely on the field goal. Oh, man. That was too much pressure there. He was sort of blocked on the first run. Let's go with another mesh spot. I mean, Johnson is also an option. Ah, too quick. Number 52. Coming around the corner here. There was no time to to get the ball away. Uh, we are still stuck. We're actually losing ground. We actually lost ground, and that is not good. I'm thinking of maybe bringing on Tua, but I really think that that will not make things much better. Ah, oh, and he can't get there. God damn it. Fourth and 19. We're, by, we're down by two points, guys. Man, that is pissing me off again. I need you guys to perform now. And what are you doing? Not running, evidently. Fourth and 19, man. That is super annoying. Come on, Michael. And we're not going to get there. We're not going to get there. Yeah, that's my feeling exactly. Fifteen points. Now we need a touchdown. We can't even 
think of getting a field goal. Man, I'm just sitting here shaking my head. There is no feeling of uh, of uh, connection there, and it's that, that's not a nice feeling. I can really tell you that. All right. I need to switch things around here again. We can't we can't let up like this, and we can't um, let key players out of the game at the moment. It's just overthrown, and Jalen Waddle's not getting there. I need options. I need options. Stat. Jamar Chase was lightning quick there, but no chance of getting that one. Ooh. Let's try this. Chase or Mayor. All right. Thank you, Michael Mayer. 1 minute 29. We step out of bounds here. We're at the 40. We cannot go for anything less than a touchdown we need a touchdown and that's that and he drops the ball is that can you guys imagine that uh, one minute 16 rather 40 Jalen Waddle or Jamar Chase Let go, let go, and I'm out of bounds. There we go. Whew, one minute, ten seconds, eight yards to go. The big question is... How do we approach this? Let's see. Two yards on the game. I don't want these. Why is it only giving me passing options? I know that the clock is running, but shove down again here. What about three yards? Three yards is what we need with 34 seconds to go. Can we get inside, guys? Come on now. Come on, guys! Six freaking yards. Okay, ready? Verticals wide rack. Last chance, saloon now. This is it. If we make it, we make it. If not, we lose the game. That is a catch, but we are short. Six seconds on the clock, and we will not be winning this game either. And a sack here on Talia. Michael Mayer has to go back. And we lose. Another loss for the Miami Dolphins in this second season here. And we are really tanking at the moment. We're just going down hard. We're six yards away. Six yards, four tries. We couldn't get it done. Rushing yards, 100. Passing yards, 137. But that missed field goal really cost us again. Talia was not bad. 41% completion rate isn't good enough. And we are now in the morale slump. Vision Robinson was great, but he couldn't get going either this time as much as I would liked him would have liked him to. Receiving, Mayer was great. Chase came into the game late. Wal uh, Waddle wasn't even... He didn't get one reception. Dropping the ball so much again. On defense, Christian Harris was a beast. TJ Edwards, Sean Murphy Bunting, Rashad Fent, and John Greenard. And mind you, this is with the sliders. So there's no, no advantage for the player from uh, adapting the sliders. 
Emmanuel Ogba with four, uh, with three tackles for loss. That was good. Christian Harris, Kingsley and Barry. Yeah, we didn't. We weren't bad. Christian Wilkins, 1.5. Zero interceptions. We will call this episode a wrap. We have, uh, we're now at 5, 8, and 1. And this, again, was a game where there was so little in it. So little in between. Um, and the way we started the season, the way we're doing right now, I really feel like, like uh, we are doing ourselves a little bit of a disservice. Uh, the Texans, we were close. We, we were really close to getting that touchdown. Uh, I couldn't go for the pass plays. Uh, the run plays, were, there was just blocking. We were losing yards. That was bad. It was just bad. Maybe I should have gone for different plays. Maybe it was my fault. Um, but uh, looking at that, it was a pretty balanced game. But uh, we just we couldn't get another touchdown. If we'd gotten one, we would have won. Uh, overall, we we were. It was a very tight game. Looking at this here, but it's down to the kick return yards. Um, out of the game, I think we were the better team. But that doesn't help us looking at the scoreboard. So yeah, let's hope we bounce back away against the, the Cowboys. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was a little bit frustrating this time. These these games are, since we're so close now, you know, if you lose by, by a huge margin, you more or less got to accept it. If you lose by, um, by, by a narrow margin, it is frustrating. If you can't get that one touchdown that you need, it is frustrating. Uh, so yeah, thanks guys for sticking with me through this. Uh, Let's see if we can get one more win this season. That would be would be the target. Uh, getting a tie season might be difficult now, especially against these teams. But we're going to give our best. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Drop me a like and please subscribe. That means a lot to me. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.